Hi, this is Dr. Don. I want to take a few minutes and show you how to solve this histogram problem. It's a frequency, a relative frequency histogram we need to get here. And we need to use it to come up with some percentiles, percentages. Now the problem starts, you work in a bank and are asked to recommend the amount of cash to put in the ATM each day. You don't want to put in too much or too little. And then we need to create the relative frequency histogram and pick the right one. And then we have two questions. If you put 88.50 in each day, what percent of the days would you run out of cash? And then if you are willing to run out of cash for just 10%, how much should you put in? So let's show you how you do that using StatCrunch. Again, you can click on the icon here, get your data, and then open in StatCrunch. So here's the data in StatCrunch. The first thing we need to do is to get the range of the data, and that means we need the min and the max, and I do that using stat, summary stats, columns, because our data is in a column, select variable one, and I'm gonna drag down here. We need the range selected, hold down my control key in Windows, and then I need the min and the max, and I like to store it in a data table just so I can see it. Click Compute. So we can see our range here is 47, the minimum is 59, and the max is 106. Now you could do this using the data compute expression. Instead, I find it easier just to use a simple calculator. Here I've opened up the Windows calculator we're going to take the range of 47 and then divide that by the number of classes, which is 8, equal 5.875. And we always round up to the nearest integer, so that would give us a bin width, a class width of 6. So now we can construct our histogram. We go to Graph histogram. Our data is in variable one. We select that to make sure it's selected. We want the frequency relative and we want the bin to start at the minimum value which is 59 and our bin width is 6. Now one of the things I want to show you here is we're going to add a divider for percentages because we want to get the percentages above and below a point. And then we click Compute. So here is our histogram. I'm just going to spread it out here a little bit. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to select the right histogram. And in order to make this comparison, I kind of shrunk up. I dragged the edges of my histogram and stat crunch so I can make it kind of squatty and then I look at the patterns and this one the pattern is a little off it's only got three up and then it scrolls down we've got one two three four up so that helps us get rid of that one now these other three all have a similar pattern so we need to inspect the the axes and look at the bend start and stop so here on this first one we can see the midpoint of that first bin is 59, and we know that our bin starts at 59, so it's not that one. Over here, this one's got the midpoint of 65. When I hover over my first bin, we can see that this upper limit is 65, so that's not the right one. And then it's 61.5. That looks like the one that it could be, 59 to 65. So that is our answer. Now the next part is if we put in 88.50 in the ATM, what percent of the days should you run out of cash? And I'm going to expand this a little bit again so we can see a little better here. Now here's that divider that I uh, had you add, and we can just drag that different places and look at the percentage above and below that point. You can see right here 73% below, 26.7 above that point. And if you hover over the line there, you can see we're at 86.1. So here we 
got 88.50. And by inspecting the bins here, I see that this bin goes from 83 in the lower limit, and the lower limit of the next bin is 95. So 88.50 is going to be in this bin, very close to that. So I'm going to drag this up and see. There, let's see. You can actually, that's 88.3. 88.5 is 23.3%, which is the answer they want. The next part says we want to not run out of cash more than 10% of the time. So how much would we put in there? You're willing to run out, I should say, no more than 10% of the time. So if we drag this divider till we get a total of 10%, that's right at 94%. 0.9, that's this divider there. Remember, we've got to be in the next bin down, so it's got to be less than 95. That's that up, upper limit. And so they say round there's 100, and that's how they get the 94, 10%. So I hope this helps.